Hello and welcome to a quick overview of the GUI in Bohemian Violin version 3, which includes Expansion 2. The GUI is split across three pages, Play, Control and Layout. Firstly, we will look at the Play page. This is the welcome page that allows you to play without any visual distractions, enjoy the performer playing with you, as all the articulation and key assigns are hidden. Even though the assigns are hidden though, you can still force any articulation or legato type as you wish on our performer via your MIDI keys. In the middle upper region we have the play box which is displayed at all times and here we see the mood, articulation, dynamic and bow direction. Under the play box, we have the Maestro button. This is a CC assignable button that allows you to switch to Polylegato. It can be CC assigned by simply right clicking at any CC and then moving the CC, or you can simply assign it manually. I usually set it to CC64, which is a sustain pedal, so it allows me to sort of switch between um, poly and monophonic legato on the fly by simply pressing the sustain pedal. On the bottom area of the play page, we have the volume and reverb sliders. These can also be CC assigned by right click and you can also mute the violin or turn the reverb off. Between the two sliders, we have three icons, purge, unpurge and auto unpurge. Purge will purge large parts of the library to save the memory. Unpurge will unpurge any purge samples and Auto Unpurge will start automatically unpurging any purge samples on the first note you play. This is especially useful if you want the library to sit in your template without being fully loaded until you start using it. Fast load preset is automatically partially purged and it will only unpurge the moment you start playing. You can also purge the library before saving, which will further speed up the loading of the library into your project. Each page also has an information I button for description of the UI. So if you are lost or you're not sure what something does, just click the I and a description will pop up for you. To access the control page, click the crossed I icon. Control is where all the additional power of the library can be realized and it's nicely hidden away behind a single click. The right and left columns are now populated with articulations, legato types, bow types, moods and bow controls. Each of these are placed into one of the 18 slots. Each slot contains the name, key assign and key type. Clicking on the key assign will allow you to choose another key. All articulations must have a key assigned at all times. So if you select a key that is already assigned, you will be prompted if you want that key assigns to be swapped around. Um, you can also cancel the process at any point without making any changes. Key type describes the behavior of the key once pressed. They currently come in two shapes. Rectangular for articulations, moods and legato types and an image of bow motion for bowing control. The whole rectangle is a key that will latch on press and will stay active until it is pressed again or new articulation is forced on. This is commonly known as a key switch. A split rectangular key is a key that will not latch. It remains active only for as long as you hold the key down. This is known as a force key. Certain articulations or behaviors can come as a force key or a key switch. You can toggle between the desired behavior by clicking on the rectangle and it will rotate between key switches or a force key. Currently, all short articulations, spiccatos, staccatos or pizzicatos, as well as lasting bow can be either force key or key switch. Moods are key switch only and all other articulations are force keys, with one exception of the Rebo arrow, which is a button that can be CC assigned to allow you to turn the auto or manual Rebo on and off. 
filled rectangular symbolizes active mood or a key switch or a force key. So currently we can see that we are on improv. We also have the release timer icon in the upper area. This is the timer that affects how long the note plays after you release it. You can set it to 300, 225 or 150 milliseconds, depending on your piano skill and desired behavior. This feature is tightly linked to our bow change legato, so you might prefer it to be tighter and use the lower times. Um, if you press new note within this timer, it will be a bow change legato, allowing you to easily switch between on bow and bow change on the fly without any need for a key switch. And with these settings, you can adjust it to your most preferred settings. Each mood can have its own unique key assigns for articulations, legato types, and release timers. To modify the articulations and legato types shown on the UI, click on the slot icon to switch into layout. By default, the layout will show you the behavior currently assigned to the slot with brief description of the functionality and options available for given behavior, therefore giving you an immediate description of what you're assigning. Click the drop down to choose from the wealth of the behaviors, bow types, articulations, legato types or moods uh, that are available. So let's change the currently assigned UI slot to bow change. The force key assigned will be the force key that is already assigned to the bow change prior to it being shown on the GUI. As the keys that are not UI visible are still assigned, grayed out on the bottom of the keyboard and they can still be used. So let's say that I want this key to be assigned to Rebo, which was the original key in this UI slot assigned to E1. Uh, because I don't want to remember uh, a new key switch, I just wanted to use E1. I can do so really easily. I will be prompted at this time that this key is already assigned to Rebo, but as I Rebo by simply repeating the note, I don't mind replacing this key switch, so I let them swap around. Now my bow change force key to allow for bow change legato and overlap is assigned to E1, which actually used to be used for Rebo force key on the improv. Now, if I move on to another mood, the E1 is still a Rebo, as each mood allows for unique key assigns. And this way I can combine moods to contain specific force keys for, given, for the given mood. And it allows you to create your own unique key switch and force key presets to your liking for the given mood, and therefore minimize the amount of force keys you need to remember or even use. For example, on Sprightly, you're unlikely to need arcs or, or mid arcs uh, or sustains. So we have selected only the likely force keys that you will use with a given mood. And you can assign these to any keys you like without affecting your key assigns on the other moods. This applies to the release timer as well. And this way you can use the same key switches to deliver different articulations based on your mood and a setup you create. You can save your presets by clicking on the floppy disk icon and save window will open. Select the folder you wish to save the layout in and name the save. In case of Mac users, you will first need to make a text file where you change the extension name to VH settings. And then you select this file to save your layout to. Click open to save the layout preset to the selected file. I know, I know, open is the opposite of save, but well, this is how the OS system currently interprets the command. And there's surely nothing we can change about that at this point. To open a layout preset, just click on the folder icon and navigate to your saved file. If you plan to use different presets for different projects, it is always good practice to name the presets using the project name, and that way you can easily navigate to the right preset for the given project. There are many ways to use layouts beyond what we have shown in this tutorial, but the main idea is to allow you to create your own unique workflows with our performers and to make sure that you can make setups and key assigns that are natural and predictable to you, so you can mold the performer to your liking. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and we will see you soon on more tutorials for our Bohemian Violin version 3. Also, please feel free to check out our in-depth manual on the product page at any point. Thank you for your time and until next time, take care.